we are so excited to be in Chicago at Kavi Gupta's Washington Boulevard Gallery. Alana, I'm so excited to be here with you at your solo exhibition, I Feel Everything. Yeah, it's really wonderful to speak with you and excited to talk about the work. How do you prioritize the stories that you create and share with the world? The thing that is most powerful about art and being a maker in the world is being able to tell my own story first and create work that is transformative for me in which I can deconstruct ideas about humanity and existence with a particular emphasis on the experiences of Black women in the world. I've seen you make work and you put your whole self into creating, both with your mind and body. How do you prepare creating your work? I'm very much influenced by the practice of the Gutai artist and thinking about this idea of the spirit and the idea of energy being channeled through the artist's body. This is true for any performance-based work that I do where my body will be present in the work. So it's very important for me to prepare by clearing my head or creating a, a space of solace. The studio is often that space. So I'm often listening to a lot of avant-garde jazz musicians like Alice Coltrane, Lee Morgan, and allowing the energy from those compositions to enter my body and be present in the space. In working with abstraction, how do you communicate political and personal themes? Often the assumption is you have to work representationally or figuratively to communicate ideas. And the really wonderful thing about this material in particular is once you know it comes into contact with the air, it takes a while to cure. So there is a lot of waiting and patience necessary. That's a really wonderful metaphor to connect and associate with notions of blackness. That initial experience a viewer has with the work, that like kind of guttural feeling, those ephemeral aspects of the work that can stay with a person is really one of the most important things. Mm -hmm.